Hey there, YouTube family, it's Stocks with Josh. We're having another green day in the market, and I wanna point out to you guys why. The dollar is pulling back, and this entire bearish journey that we've been on was a result of the dollar getting stronger, right? As the dollar's gone up, the markets have fallen, and we have finally gotten to a place where the dollar is pulling back. And I'll tell you that if the dollar continues to show some weakness and if it continues to pull back, that will make room for the markets to go higher. We don't know if this is gonna be a pullback and then it's gonna bounce further, but for as long as it continues a downward trend, we are likely to see the markets to go forward. In addition to that, today oil has yet again rolled over, which means it's come down. And as well, oil is the biggest contributor to inflation, right? And so if it pulls down, then we know that we have less concerns about oil. We need to keep an eye on the dollar and oil. And if they continue to fall, then the markets will continue to rise. Today, we're going to be talking about Verb Technologies, our small account challenge stock that we've been trading. We've been trying to move the $200 to $400. A number of you guys have accomplished that, but we want to get everybody over the finish line. The last seven days, Verb has been up 16%. Verb has been technically performing well. The indicators like the RSI are still in bullish zone. The MACD is where it needs to be. We're gonna be talking about potential catalyst events that are gonna move Verb to that higher level that we've been anticipating. We're gonna look at what the charts are saying about price action, support, and resistance. Where are they? At the very end, I'm gonna review what our game plan is. Uh, for those of us who are swing trading it, and I'm also going to be talking about those who are just beginning the challenge. Before I begin with that, don't forget to hit the like for me. Remember, anything I say is for educational purposes. I'm not telling you guys what to buy or sell. And unfortunately, there are people in the comment section that use my picture and my name impersonating me, asking you guys to reach out to them on Telegram, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Be aware, those are scammers. I want you guys always to be safe. It's my goal on this page to take complicated stock and crypto trading topics as well as trending news stories and to break them down into easy to understand language so that anybody or everybody can find trading to be easier. If that's for you, then hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Go ahead and talk to me in the comments section. I do my very best to answer any of your questions and it also helps me consider what content I could create for you. Uh, so what's going on with Verb? Well, maybe the apes over on Reddit are getting interested in Verb. Recently, a Verb uh, post popped up on the Reddit penny stock community. The post basically was introducing people to, to Verb as a company, what they did, as well as their big e-commerce launch. Uh, of their platform, their proprietary platform called Market. It highlighted the 40 vendors that are gonna participate in that. It also talked about the fact that, uh, that those 40 vendors do a combined uh, annual sales of a billion dollars. Um, and you, know, you have to remember that this is a small company. It's got a small float. And one of the interesting things is that they get a potentially a 30% cut on all the sales that get sold on their platform. So here we have a market cap of around, uh, around 50 to $60 million, and they are launching here very soon a billion dollars uh, worth of potential sales where they could get a 30% cut of those sales. Verb claims to be currently adding about eight to 10 vendors a day. Those are customers. You can access their platform marketplace through TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, basically, these guys are anywhere where growing, trending, um, uh, community-based video sales are developing. The post concludes with the saying that this is perhaps the most important moment for Verb, and it's either a 40x bagger or nothing. Well, you know, that that I hadn't even considered Verb 40 xing from here. We've looked many times at the analyst pricing expectation. All the analysts that cover Verb, all of them call it a strong buy, which I think is great. None of them are saying hold. None of them are saying sold. The average price has it's fluctuated. It's largely been around three dollars and on the high end four dollars. But these guys were saying over at the uh, Reddit community that they're looking for a 40x bagger or nothing. 
Verb also did a press release talking about this upcoming Shop Fest. The Shop Fest is taking place July 26th through the 28th. This shopping festival is basically described as the premier launch of their new platform uh, marketplace. The marketplace is basically a, uh, they describe it as a social shopping and live stream e-commerce e platform. They claim, the, their claim is that th this combines entertainment and shopping, which basically they believe is going to usher in the new era of online shopping and e-commerce. Uh, really simply, e-commerce is simply defined as buying stuff on your phone or your computer instead of going to a store. So the big question we have after all the news is will it cause Verb stock to pop before July 26th? This is, is this buy the rumor, sell the news? That's what we've got to decide. In the charts, Verb stock has been slowly melting up. Many of the indicators, as I said before, are still bullish, I, I, except for volume. I haven't loved the level of volume. Volume has been down. And as one of the things that I teach when I talk about charting is that the first thing you look at is price. The second is volume. Vo volume shows conviction of buying. I'm watching the current price movement to see if we can break above 66 cents. That's the key level that we've been pushing up against for the last three or four days. At the 66 cent area, it looks like we could have formed a double top. Double tops are not bullish. Uh, double top is basically where you get two peaks that occur one after the other. A double top is a type of char chart pattern that predicts a potential change in direction. A double top could be bearish in the short term if we don't break higher. You know, so you could say we're in an extremely key spot today where this thing could pop up or pull back to test the lower range. Let's take a minute and look at the charts. What I want you guys to see, and I pointed this out before, is that every single time we've had a pullback in verb, it has been preceded uh, or initiated by a giant wick candle. This was the largest run up. It had the largest wick candle. Candle Right here, we have another. It came down. It got support here. When it came back up, we got another wick candle. It brought us all the way down. When we came back here, we got another large wick candle. It brought us down and we came up here, right? And it pulled back for support. And this created the first double top that we saw in verb, but it came back, retested this area and we got a large wick candle. Um, I know this is new for you guys, but just track with me for a little bit. That caused this move down. And when it came back up, we got another large wick candle. The reason why I'm pointing out these large wick candles for you is ultimately because we do not have a large wick candle and Verb has never uh, sold off and gone back to test the low of its price range without giving us that form of an indicator. I want to just point it out again. We had this beautiful little run up. We had this massive a large wick candle. We had a minor run up. We got a large wick candle. Doesn't matter whether the run up has been small or big. We've always got that large wick sell off. Even here, when Verb was getting ready to go essentially in the toilet, right before that, we got a large wick candle. These are all great. This is the indicator that we don't have right now. Okay, another very important thing I want to point out to you guys is that is this is this whole all of these lines of support and resistance i have been tracking this for a while and obviously it's moved within this range of support and resistance it's actually been very respectful of this bottom line of support and very respectful of these top lines of resistance a, a line of support or resistance is often confirmed when it has uh, more than one touch right here we saw a number of these touches even here in a, as of recent. So that line of resistance has been sort of well confirmed. Now, this has been the longstanding trend line. And one of the reasons why we're imagining that we are getting ready for a move out of it uh, is that we have actually broken out of the area of re previous resistance. This line here, this top line had been a longstanding area uh, of resistance for the last year. And in recent days, when we broke up here to the 65 cents area, we broke out of it. The first time we came up against it, we broke down, but then we came and we broke over it. 
Now we're getting these doji candles. I want to talk to you guys about doji candles. Doji candles represent indecision. So right now we have the, fa the fact that verb has been uh, sort of fluctuating in this level for the last three days, trying to decide what to do. What I am imagining and believing and what I'm pointing out to you guys and how I'm making my decision is I believe that we will get some form of a pop up, right? It's going to give us that tall wick candle and that's going to confirm to us that we should take profits and that we should expect a downward trend. When we eventually get that downward trend, I'm expecting that it will come along this line of support right here that's potentially developing. So we will be looking, let's say it runs up into this area here. If we get that tall wick candle, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you all that I'm selling and then we're going to be looking for a pullback and I will be buying again when we hit this line of support. So that's the basic game plan at the moment. It's sort of teeter tottering right here and we've got those key event uh, uh, catalyst dates ahead of us, which could very likely push us up, uh, especially if those events go well, go well. On this channel, you know that I provide trade setups. I try to give clear direction regarding entry points and exit points. If you don't have a stock exchange, we're currently using Moomoo. We're doing the small account challenge on Moomoo. Our goal is to move the $200 to $400 and our next goal will be to move $400 to $800. I hope that we're getting close for this part of the small account challenge to end. I know for a number of you have already told me in the comment section, you've sold yours and you've already doubled your money. There are some people that went in heavy at, with you know $2,000 and sold it and made a profit and up it to 4,000. Some of you have already done very well, but I'm gonna stay on this uh, stock until we get everybody over the finish line. If you guys wanna join the small account challenge then you click on the link in the description of the video, sign up for Moomoo. You can follow along, you know, we're using the Moomoo to, set, to swing trade and day trade stock. I use that specifically because they've got the 16 hours of extended trading and they've got the eight conditional order types. I am going to do a trailing stop video that is as clear as I possibly can make it. I'm going to be doing some special editing on the video to highlight all the places so that everyone can see it super clearly. Uh, you know that Moomoo is offering more, in my opinion, than other exchanges. They give the six free stock for opening and funding an account and they give you a chance of of 10 free stock, you know, valued at up to 25,000, that is for utilizing all of their promotions. You're not just gonna get that for opening up an account. All right, I wanted to have a deeper conversation with you guys about price. Uh, where's, the, where's the buy and where's the potential sell targets? Remember, the key to profits all begin with buying strategically low. We don't want great companies after the prices run up. We would rather hold our dollars in our account until we can find stock and crypto that is at support. So you're not going to catch every run up and every uh, stock that pops. So if you're new to the verb challenge, you know, you want to fund your account with $200. You know, whatever I have you buy, whether it's verb or another trade setup, you just want to be ready. I'm, I, there's a number of other trade setups that I would love to share with you. I know that some of you guys will say just share them with us but I don't wanna have a bunch of different uh, things moving in different directions. You can place your first limit order on Verb at the 50 cent mark, okay? What I'm about to say right now is so important. We're testing the top of the trade range, which means we're not at the bottom support of the trade range. That will happen, you know, we're gonna get a, a bad day in the market at some point and it may pull back. And if it pulls back, in my opinion, it's likely to come back to 50 cents. And for those who are beginning the challenge, that's where you would put your first buy. We don't chase stocks or crypto. I wanna share with you guys that I've also been closely watching gold, which is getting, which is really just the other day hit a key support. I wanna see it kind of consolidate here. I wanna see it move sideways for a little bit, but I believe there's going to be just a massive opportunity in gold. I don't know the future, but I am definitely watching that for a specific entry point. Uh, I don't want to buy in where it's still a falling knife, but at the moment, there's a lot of room to the upside on gold. Um, as far as taking profit on verb, 
The truth is there's a lot of room to the upside. The targets that we've discussed so far have been between the 75 to 80 cent range. Our original take profit, okay, for half of the play is supposed to be at 98 cents and the other half uh, was supposed to be at $1.28. And if you are simply going a little bit longer, you can just set it and forget it and wait for those to clear. I have been attempting for us to get profit and be positioned so that we could double dip. So in case we get this flash up and this tall wick candle that I've been telling you that we're likely to get, I'm gonna send out a notification in the, in the community tab that says sell, 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 right? Because I believe that all of us would have an opportunity for it to come back and for us to reaccumulate from 50 cents and below. That basically is the strategy that I have on the table. But I've mentioned to you guys, there's more than one way to play this. You can just stick with those uh, two price targets I originally gave you of 98 cents and $1.28. Or you could simply initiate a trailing stop right now and just let this run and, you know, it, and go to where the analyst said that it might go, three or four dollars. You would experience a fair amount of movement over the course of time, we can double dip and we can basically swing trade this more than once and ramp up these small accounts to a little bit of a bigger account and a little bit bigger play. We might at the next round, we might employ half the money in one thing and half the money in the other. So the best way to play right now, if you're long, is to simply increase your trailing stop. If you want to lock in the gains, then you lower the targets, but keep in mind that Verb always gives us that tall wick daily candle uh, as a long-term trend reversal. That's the signal that I will make my final decision on at the moment, we just don't have it. So in conclusion, we wanna see the volume come up on Verb. If we see the volume come up, then I think we are absolutely gonna pop. We're gonna get that candle we're looking for. Uh, if you guys don't wanna miss out on my next uh, trade on stock or crypto, then hit that subscribe and the notification bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next video. Have a great day.